All right, so new patch notes for Global came out today, and uh, it's it's you know what you expect. It's Lilia coming, but actually they brought something that JP doesn't have. Surprising. That's why I've been recording because I I usually miss these you know Global patch notes. Uh, but Lilia of Desire, uh, the the Christmas Lilia is here. Well, you know that I actually really really like uh, making videos on. Um, for no particular reason, uh, but <laughs> she's actually pretty good, although you do need her holy, holy relic if you have not actually watched any videos on her. She is actually, unironically, a pretty good unit. Uh, she does a flood, which is a pretty good card effect, especially for breaking king's shield. Uh, her AoE is the same one as Galfer's, uh, hits decently hard, but you do need her holy relic. Her Holy Relic is absolutely necessary. If you don't have it, she's mediocre at best. But if you do have her Holy Relic, she's very good. Um, that's what, what I would say. So her, her passive is that for 7 Catastrophe Disaster allies, uh, 7 Catastrophe allies, I said 7 Catastrophe Disaster, or the 7 Disaster, 7 Catastrophe is whatever, um, inflicts additional damage equals 10% of the hero's max HP when using single target attacks. Which is why her passive is so good. Um, increases the hero's basic stat by 10% for every debuff. So 50% extra HP and attack. So you're using attack and, and you're using HP both for damage with her cards, right? That's why the Holy Relic is so good. Um, so that, honestly, this was actually a very good passive to give her. Because when you're talking about Red Lilia, right? Uh, one thing that was very afraid with Holy Relics was that... Holy Relics would be like, oh, a character comes out and it gets a Holy Relic, right? And it makes sense for that character, but maybe it won't make sense for other characters. Such as, let's talk about Bon, right? Purgatory Bon, his Holy Relic makes sense because his attack is based on HP, right? If, for whatever reason, the next Purgatory Bon doesn't have attack cards related to his HP, his passive makes no sense. Or his Holy Relic makes no sense. Um, he needs his next cards to also be related to HP. But I'm assuming he will. Uh, th that would be something that I'm afraid of, that Holy Relics would cause that issue. But in this case, I feel like Red Lilia did use her Holy Relic pretty well, where, you know, th this effect is quite good for her because she does get the, the, the debuffs turn one, so her Holy Relic procs basically for free. But it even worked even better with Blue Lilia because of her passive. So that's that's very clever of them. So I hope more Holy Relics come like that in the future. Of course, the, most Holy Relics are stinkers, right? <laughs> most Holy Relics are garbage. <laughs> like, let's be real. Uh, so when the unit does have a good Holy Relic, yeah. If you like Lilia, sure, but I wouldn't summon, personally. If I was free to play, I would not summon. Only because King just came out, so you're probably already, you know, desperate for more gems. Um, and next week, on JP, we're getting... Not this week, I think next week. I think. Should, be, it should Yeah, I think this week should be a one-off banner. Either a free banner or just a, a single character. Uh, most likely Liz, which has been uh, leaked. And then the week after will be, will be Holy War, which we don't know who it is. Very high chances it will be someone related to King. So we don't know who it is, but it could be someone on hype. So that's why it wasn't someone for her. Uh, but she is good. If you do like Lily and you summon only... It, I see a lot of people have this conviction that they, they only summon for waifus. This is a good one to summon on. If you are that person, but for generally anyone else, I do not recommend. Uh, this a lot of people were, were asking, when does the list cost you come? When does the list cost you come? It's it's here. Relax. <laughs> a lot of people were asking about the list costume. Um, I I think this is not something the JP has. Blessing 3 uh, gift event. I think that's something... This is not what I was talking about when I said something that JP doesn't have, but... I actually don't think JP had this. So, I'm assuming we're gonna get this on JP next week. Um, I love how they never explain 
how it works. You just, I guess, figure it out when it comes out. <laughs> oh, I love global patch notes. This is what I was talking about. Look at these costumes. Look at how cute she looks. Megilda. I almost forgot her name. Look how cute she looks. Look how cool King looks. Uh, got King. This is King's uh, last weapon, I believe, because he was missing once. That's good. Um, Megilda looks very cute. Unfortunately, we're still waiting for Megilda to actually be relevant in the game. Uh, because really, she isn't. She came out and she's basically made only for the bird, right? And nothing came out yet that makes her actually good for it. She's usable on it. You can beat stage 3 with her. It's just not very practical. You're much better off using someone else, right? For example, the one, King, um, um, Brynhildr. You're much better off using those characters over using her. Um, but one day, maybe. We'll see. Um, Christmas costumes, I'm assuming, again, will also come out on JP this week. So, if you do... These will be paid only. If you do want to buy them. Uh, pick up, draw, take a bonus. Um, I do believe this is for... This is just for, uh, for uh, Lilia. So, it's just tickets for Lilia. So, that's essentially it. Um... <laughs> I wouldn't recommend summoning for Lilia, but I can I I can't stop you. I'm not your I'm not your dad, so you can do whatever you want, really. And I I literally can't stop you. So, you know. <laughs>